miles from London and standing in over 300 acres of Hertfordshire parkland is the Rickmansworth Masonic School for Girls. 200 years ago, in 1788, Chevalier Bartholomew Rospini founded the school in London with 15 orphan girls. The distinctive school crest carries a stone in the centre of the pentangle, or star, which is the perfect ashlar, smooth and prepared by master craftsmen. Translated, the Latin words in the circle read that our daughters may be as the polished corners of the temple. The main entrance to the school is shaded by lime trees and gives an immediate impression of the spaciousness enjoyed by pupils of the school. Inevitably, your eyes are drawn back to the tall clock tower, a landmark visible for miles around. Close to it stands the school chapel. Lavish stained glass windows and frescoes adorn the chapel, which is a focal point of school life. Nearly every day sees a morning service, and special days like Harvest Festival, Confirmation, Commemoration and Carol services are particularly moving in the lovely setting. Outside the chapel, at the east end, Gazing down from his niche stands the statue of Raspini, now, alas, showing the passage of years. In fact, his original orphanage school was at Summers Place East in London, in between where Euston and St Pancras stations now stand. After several moves because of increasing numbers, a magnificent new school was built at Clapham and consecrated in 1852. Here, many of the school traditions were established. Numbers continued to rise, and eventually, Viscountess Barrington's stately home in its huge park in Rickmansworth was purchased. By 1934, the new school in Hertfordshire for 400 girls was built. Later, Queen Elizabeth and King George VI visited the school, as since have many other members of the royal family. How different, yet how similar the school is today. The long, cold corridors of yesterday are now carpeted and heated, and are trod not by 400, but by over 600 girls as they go from lesson to lesson. I don't know. I, I seem to think Here, a sixth form class grapples with the problems of staging Shakespeare's Hamlet. I don't think he'd be seated, but I think for the beginning he'd be with him and then he'd be around. And all the players on some sort of platform, wouldn't they? The seat or position, if they move there, once they see the players will come starting in, but they can come from all different directions as well, carrying various things or acting as they come in. Hamlet assumes his antic disposition quite deliberately, doesn't he? When, when the king and the court come in, after he's been talking to Horatio, and I think that possibly in your grouping you could, you could make more of that as a, as a feature dramatically. The school is well equipped, and keeps up with technical innovation, integrating it into the syllabus and maintaining the high standard of education for which it has become renowned. Each subject is treated with equal importance and spacious, purpose-built classrooms can help to make learning fun. Bonjour, madame. Bonjour, mademoiselle. Vous désirez? Oh, je voudrais un limonade, s'il vous plaît. Oui. As with the sciences, languages are taught with practical application in mind. And short cameos like this voilà. give students the chance to exercise their learning. No, je voudrais un croissant, s'il vous plaît. But lessons are not confined to the classroom. And having learnt earlier on in the day, 
the molecular structure of water, it is important to learn how to stay afloat in it. Both physical and mental discipline come together in the school drill, a complicated series of intricate formations and patterns that have been handed down through the generations. These 180 girls will have to perfect the drill for the public occasion of prize day. As yet, they practice. particularly proud of its library. Set amongst the lawns and the flower beds of the garth, it provides a place for girls to come and study, research and read for pleasure. It also houses a video theatre and is regularly used for lunchtime concerts. feature of the school is a magnificent stained glass which abounds, unexpectedly enhancing corridors, staircases, even storerooms. You all love Winnie the Pooh, don't you? Yes! Right, we're going to have a favourite chapter. The house system provides a family unit, both close-knit and gregarious, a warm and caring group in which lasting friendships often grow. Many senior girls have their own study bedrooms, which while allowing them a greater measure of privacy as they face major examinations, does not isolate them from the friendly atmosphere that pervades the school. One of the highlights of the school year is sports day. The sun always shines on sports day, but hotter still is the competition on the track and in the field. House pride looms large on such occasions, and whether a girl be a winner or a loser, it is a pride that cannot be dented. Prize Day. Here, in the presence of eminent personages, 
Parents, relatives and friends gather to applaud those who have shown special prowess. Not only are there prizes for academic achievement, but for perseverance and effort, for diligence and application, for strength of character, and for service to the school. And the winners of the silver and gold medals, they receive perhaps the loudest reception of all. And for those who may not be presented with medals, the achievement of excellence is its own reward. The perfected school drill gives prize day its finale with a seemingly effortless wave of synchronized movement. tradition and progress will ensure that there will always be at the school a fully rounded education taking place. Inside the classroom, out on the playing fields, girls will be preparing for their future.